Hi everybody, this message is for Leo. This is your life and love energy for August and September, okay? Let me see, I had some things written down for you guys um, that I kind of wanted to go over. And if I can't get to it all today, then Leo, what I'll do is I'll come back at it, you know? Okay, so let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing was, in between August and September, you guys are going through, obviously, a transformation, right? There's, there's I feel like there's like a second chance at something. A second chance at a career. A second chance to make things right with the person or a second chance to make things um, right within your job or make things right emotionally but there can be some emotional energy happening things may appear one way in the beginning of august and then as you get closer towards the end of august there can be some frustrations minor frustrations um disappointments and this can just be in your relationships in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, okay? And guys, please remember, this is a general reading. And if I did not say it already, this is for Leo man and the Leo woman. Leo sun, moon, and rising, or Venus and Leo, okay? So, and I appreciate you guys being here too. But there can be some minor disruptions going especially going towards the end of august going into early september there could be disagreements with like um maybe your friends someone that you're really close to family members or just if i'm being honest because i know you leo right like you're never the one to like back down from anything so this can also be like an outside influence you know um someone you probably don't even know so watch out for words being crossed the wrong way. Watch out for um, drama being just stirred up. Not because it may not even have anything necessarily to do with you starting the drama. Um, it could just be something that just unfold and maybe it's a touchy subject or a, a sub, you know, um, a very sensitive topic. Okay. And everybody's in their feelings. It could be one of those things, okay? But you need to watch out for that. For it's um, and this is a lot of for my a lot of my older Leo people, you know. Um, but for my younger ones who um are like literally in a process of like embarking on a new journey, this can be a time for you for inspiration. Um, evolving at this time, okay, meeting new people, especially in them, uh-oh, I saw a fly, guys, you know I hate insects, oh my goodness, okay, so this can be a good time, going to early September, we will have a new moon, um, I believe in Virgo, and that energy is going to inspire you, because now you're looking at the details of your own life, you're criticizing things a lot more and you're trying your best to make sense of everything which you will because you're very smart and very well educated so a lot of you leos will be sitting there going you know what um i wonder um what i can do to fix the situation to make something right uh, maybe i need to address something that was definitely off or um or somebody may approach you this way um either way it's going to be one of those situations where it's like a lot of heart to heart conversations are happening so between that last week of august going into that early week of september um, with the new moon approaching us and the holiday here in the States, we have Labor Day, you know, where um, people are appreciated for all of their hard work and labor, you know. So um, if there is anyone in your life, Leo, that may have even felt like they were not appreciated by you, okay, you will probably find yourself being a lot more affectionate or somebody may want to express their affection towards you, giving you this undying attention, this love that you're not really used to getting from them, okay? But 
something done with relationships is definitely bound to happen, okay? So, now that I said all that <laughs> for like four and a half minutes straight, let's get into the cards, okay? Because you guys know me. I can talk, 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 okay? All right, so let's go. Excuse me, let me get some water. Hold on. Okay. I was like, I felt a little parched. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh god, that's we kind of crazy. But anyway, Leo, here we go. All right, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus on Leo. All right, guys, because this is a general reading, make sure you check your Sun, Moon, Rising, your Venus, your um, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, all that stuff do matter, especially in your birth chart. A lot of times, something may not resonate. Um, something may not resonate totally like with as your sun sign. So sometimes you will have to go out and uh, do some more research. So guys, these two cards came out for another sign. Excuse me. And I want to get clarity. It's crazy because I shuffled like 80 times. Um. Let's try again. Sorry. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay. You got the angel of love in reverse. Again, something could be blocked. Okay. It could be. Maybe you guys have been holding back, not giving your all in love. Maybe you're not feeling that positive about love. And not, again, not just with personal romantic relationships but this could be just love in general you know with family with friends there's a lot of deep emotional energy here and then we have here the um archangel ariel with the second chakra which is your um you know it's like uh, this is your sacral chakra, and what that means, this is like dealing like with your, your complete intimacy, okay? Um, intimacy, something that you're really passionate about. Again, this could be family, a job, this can be friends. To every last one of you, this is going to play out differently, so just kind of go with it, you know? Um... But I know that this is definitely about intimacy. This can also be about um, being celibate as well. Because with the angel of love and your sacred chakra coming out, that is definitely um, withdrawing from some type of intimacy. Okay? Or connection. Or not wanting to be bothered. Not wanting to look at the positive side. Not really being into new love or a new man. Or not really being into new friendships. Or when someone comes around you all bubbly for no fucking reason. You're like, okay, like I'm glad that you're happy. But do you always got to rub it in my face? Like that is what I'm getting from you. But there's going to be other people in your world, Leo, that actually want to love you and support you. And you may need to be open to that. Let me show you what the cards look like. See, so we have the angel of love. It's normally a beautiful energy. I mean, look at it in reverse. Usually, very beautiful energy. You got the roses going on. Very positive, very sexy, very intimate, right? Very positive, beautiful energy. But... I do do reversals. So because I do reversals, um, it's as if you, if you have not been open to love, then some of you will begin to be open into love, but not in the month of August. This is going to happen later on, like mid-September type of thing. And that is when you'll get the clarity, like, you know what, I should apologize or I should try to make it work with this person. You know, or maybe I should accept this person's apology. Like, it's going to be something in that area, okay? Um, we also have it, like I said, with the sacred chakra being here. This is also representing intimacy. I want to show you this card up close. 
Okay, once again, very beautiful energy, very sacred, very soft energy. Um, okay, so maybe you're going from being so bitter and unhappy when it comes to love in general to now trying to develop a sense of peace when it comes to your intimacy or when it comes to romance or just love in general, okay? Um, this can also slightly represent close connections. So again, that's why I keep saying for some of you, this could be a job-related situation. Now, I also see here the door to healing and to personal happiness and healing. And that also came out in reverse. So there's definitely something a lot of you are running away from or you're refusing to deal with. You're not happy about a particular situation, but you're looking, it's, it's almost like as if you guys are trying your best to maneuver through the situation. And it's been rough and it's been challenging. However, you have still tried your best to keep a, a, a high head, um, still try to be positive, still try to be nice. Um, and I don't think it's, I think it could be just um, someone reminding you of what you could have or reminding you of what you used to have. That type of thing. So it's, it may not be a situation where someone actually did something to you, Leo. It could just be that, you know, okay, let me back up. Sometimes it's hard when we see other people with what we have. Okay, let's be honest. And jealousy sucks. Okay, let me, okay? Jealousy sucks. So it's not all the time we're going to always get what we want. And sometimes, especially when we're craving for it and we're waiting and waiting and waiting and we're trying our best to be just comfortable with what we have. And yet it seems like everybody around us seems to be getting exactly what we want. It hurts. Okay, let's be honest about that. So I feel like your frustration is not necessarily with this person or this person frustration with you is not even truly with you, okay? It could just simply be obstacles, situations, trials and tribulations that are in their life at the moment and they're having a rough time dealing with it. Or this could very well be you. Maybe you're the one that's having a hard time dealing with circumstances that have taken place in your life. But you need to be careful not to push the wrong people away. Okay? So I'm going to get clarity on all this because it's so intense. Like, I feel like it's so intense. So let's, can we get some clarity on this? I'm, I have some tarot um, wisdom cards here um, that I want to read to you guys. So let me do that. Um, and then we can take it from there. Okay? That's all he has. Oh, I didn't tell you. He took a whole bunch of them. All right, I'm recording, so do you... <laughs> Can you get the hell out? <laughs> oh, my God. You see why I like to sit in my little quiet room by myself? Okay. So we have some Wisdom Tarot decks here. And I want to read with you. These one. This is one of my favorite decks. It's very simple, explanatory. Get straight to the point, and I love it. And they're beautiful, by the way. All right, by Mr. Valentine himself. All right, so let's get into it. Why did the angel of love appear in reverse for our Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus on Leo? Oh, okay. Conflicts. Like I said, disagreements. Now, whew, it's talking about conflicts with others caused by opposing views or opinions. I told you, it may not even have 
anything to do with what you did to them or what they did to you. It could just be a touchy subject. Look at this. It could just be a touchy subject. Everybody's just in their feelings. You know, this person got their opinion. You got your opinion. You said one thing. They said another. You know, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, this is happening with someone who has just as strong values and opinions as you. And they're not the one to back down. So, of course, <clears throat> um, there seems to be some type of conflict between you and this person. Again, guys, this don't have to be a romantic situation. This could be a work-related situation. This could even be your siblings, family members, close friends, your bestie, quote-unquote, okay? It's just to, that you should just walk away from the drama, as I said previously, this is not, this is really one of them situations where you might want to be very cautious about your actions and the things that are being said and about what's happening because you very well may end up hurting someone's feelings without even realizing it. Okay? And I feel like this person is going to approach you and let you know how they, how you made them feel and how you handle their pain Revolving the situation is going to change everything. Okay? But it says here that this can also be someone who's a go-getter, ambitious, you know? It's kind of like you see yourself in this person. Or, again, like I said previously, like, they remind you of what you could be. Or they remind you indirectly, without even realizing that they're doing this, they could be reminding you of what you could be or what you, sh you know, um, what you would have been, okay? So there could be a lot of pent-up anger or pent-up emotions that you have not yet to express. It could be that, all right? But there's definitely a lot of heavy emotions here. Unless the drama is really worth your time, it's probably best to just walk away. And I know it's easier said than done, but if you love this person... Even if they could be a co-worker. Maybe you guys have grown really close in the last year or two. And all of a sudden, you guys have like some type of crazy disagreement. This can be your sibling. And maybe you guys are usually like best friends. And then all of a sudden, you know, and, and it's going to hurt you too. Because you care about this person. So it is best for you to just walk away. But don't say or do anything to hurt them in a sense where... They don't want nothing to do with you ever again. That's going to hurt you even more. So, the sacral chakra came out. Why? Why is the sacral chakra here? We know that it represents intimacy. 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 That's not even a fucking word. <laughs> we know that it represents intimacy, okay? Um, and feeling good. Deep, strong emotions. Passionate energy. But what is going on for Leo? Are you guys having a change of heart? Are you making a decision about something? Are you clearing your mind about something? Are you realizing what you need to change in order to move ahead? What's going on with you, Leo? What's this? Oh, the Eight of Cups. Okay. So the Eight of Cups, again, moving on. Moving on or letting go will no longer serve you. Look at that. The dog is looking back, but the person is like, listen, I need to go now. Like, I can't handle this anymore. Like, it's causing friction in my life with people that I love and people that I care about. I can't keep allowing this particular situation to happen. I had to let this go. I'm walking away. This is too much energy for me. It's too many emotions. The need to move on. Seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. You want something to change. There's a huge transformation on the horizon. But if you are not careful, Leo, you this can backfire. Okay? So you need to definitely be careful with the energy that you're putting out there. You guys could be definitely embarking on a new spiritual journey. And maybe that's why you are having all these crazy different transactions or... um emotions happening between you and this other person a special quest or a spiritual quest choosing to make big life changes a changing your priority changing your home your environment changing your job 
If something, this situation is really causing you to be unhappy, you need to change it. Especially if it's causing you to have friction or confrontation with people that you love. Yeah, you got to let this go. You can't keep holding on to what's devastating to you, apparently, right? Because you deserve to be happy. And you want to be able to express your feelings and your love for other people in the most positive way. And if you're constantly stressing about someone you're in love with or maybe they cheated or maybe they lied or maybe they have abused you or did something completely out of line or disrespectful to you, let's keep it real. It's hard to focus, okay? And with the door to healing and happiness, this is me and I'm willing to let all of this go. I don't want the drama. I don't want the conflict. I just want happiness in my life. And I can't achieve it if I'm still um, in my same environment, dealing with the same type of people, allowing the same things to happen over and over. Something has to change. Okay? And Leo, you're smart enough to know this. You know this. All right, so let's get the last clarity. Let's see, you know, why the door to personal healing and happiness came out in reverse. That's what I want to know. Because I feel like there's so much objection here. There's so much, I don't care. I'm done. I give up. That type of energy. And spirit does not want you to do that. That's why they're showing you change your environment. Look at yourself in the mirror. What needs to change? It's asking you to take a look around. Is it really other people or is it really you? Like, what is really going on? The Eight of Cups shows you walking away from this situation. I don't know what this is or who this is, but you guys are definitely gathering your thoughts and walking away from this situation. The number three appears here more than once. So you guys know what that means. Look at this. Told you. Number three, just keep reappearing. The six of swords, the six of air. You guys are leaving a situation. I don't know what this is, but I feel like you have had it up to here. I'm telling you, by the end of September, you guys are going to be like, you know what? Fuck this. You're going to throw in a towel. You're not going to care. You're going to be like, listen, I'm done. Okay? This can be with a job, that marriage. This can be with people that you love. Maybe you just feel like, you know what? I just need time for me. I need to rethink and gather my thoughts. So for the time being, I'm done. But for the great hands of you, this is going to be romance. And for the rest of you, this could be your career or situations with friends or family or someone close, like your sibling or um, a cousin, a really close cousin or a best friend or something. But it's everything to do with relationships. Something is happening here. And you don't care. Look at this. You're packing up the kids. You're going away. You don't care how crazy the situation has gotten. You don't care if you cry about it. If you've been praying for it to change. You are out of there. Okay, look at, look at this. This one, you're taking the dog with you. The other one, you're taking the kids. Like, you guys are not tolerating it. I don't know. Wow, Leo, this is crazy. I actually was not expecting so many... Um, so many different cards representing the same thing. I was not expect they all represent the same thing. Like being unhappy, the love is not there, wanting out of the situation, wanting a divorce, there's no trust, or um, maybe you and this person just don't have the love connection that used to be there. There's a lot of disrespect and a lot of betrayal. There is a lot of that happening. And you have, let me tell you something I know about Leo's. You guys will stick it in, even at the roughest times. You guys will stay until you really absolutely cannot fucking take it no more. And I think that by the end of September, you guys will get to the point where you realize, you know what? I've lost everything. I've lost my kids, I lost the job, I lost this, I lost that, you know, um, I lost my friends, my close family, whatever. It's going to be one of those situations, and again, it's going to apply to you all differently, okay? But this is definitely one of those situations where you realize, okay, just because I want to be in here, 
doesn't mean that it's best for me. This situation has, every time I turn around, there's drama. Every time I turn around, people don't want to be around me because of the situation. Or every time I turn around, um, I can't achieve something. If I wasn't dealing with this situation, then I would have that. There's just going to be some type of huge epiphany that is going to come at you, Leo. And like I said, it has a lot to do with relationships, partnerships, business relationships, family Okay, this may not, for some of you, like I said, this may not have nothing to do with love. For a gray hen of you, it could be a little bit of both. It could be love in family. It could be love in career. Maybe you're upset about your career for whatever reason. Or uh, maybe, you know, the situation in your career is causing problems at home. Maybe you can't find the right job that you want to have. Okay, maybe your spouse is not really fully supporting you the way that you would like them to. So you can get that career. It can, listen, everybody's situation is different. But please take heed to what I'm saying. Be very cautious about what you say or do to someone at this time. Because it can definitely backfire, okay? If you and someone had a disagreement, maybe that, that situation already happened, right? Maybe I'm a little too late. But whatever the case is, you got a second chance to make things right. And if I were you, I would do just that. Don't just sit there and be stubborn and cocky like, oh, well, they did it to me first. No, be the bigger person. And that is my message to you this season is to be the bigger person. If you truly want to end the month of September with full victory and happiness, you need to do this the right way. Okay, so Leo, I love you. You have a fantastic week, a fantastic season, wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Instagram at I Love My Spouse But, and check me out on Instagram at G1 Insights. You guys are gonna be in for a treat. I love you. Bye.